Three players are about to take on this massive golden wall. They've never met before. They could be leaving with up to £20,000 or going home with nothing. Decimate. This is Decimate. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to Decimate. Let's meet the team today, hoping to win some big money. I'm Anna, a digital marketer from Belfast. I'm Ken, a regional manager from West London. I'm Maggie, a primary school teacher from Larburton, Scotland. Ah, welcome to show. Can I say? Three beautiful smiles, if I may say so. Maggie, primary school teacher. Yeah. And apparently you like collecting ugly ornaments, is that right? Oh, yeah. Really horrible. Or, you know, ones that have been all misshapen. And it's great. I actually find quite a lot in charity shops. I've got some really awful things, yeah. OK. Ken. Hi. Apparently, is this right? Someone said you were a bit like Alfie Moon. I went to a party a few years ago and I was, right. had a floral t-shirt um, shirt on and I right. really loved it. And I said, girls, what do you think of this shirt? I think it's beautiful. And they go, mm, you look a little bit like Alfie Moon. So, <laughs> but I took it as a compliment. Yes, and it is a compliment, <laughs> Nothing Ken. But a compliment. Don't you worry about Nothing that, buddy, all right? Yeah. Anna. Hello. Digital marketer. Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Um, about two years now, yeah. Yeah? How's your driving lessons going? Yeah, uh, <laughs> not so great. I've had um, over 50 hours of driving lessons. 50 hours?! Still can't go down the street without kangaroo hopping. Skateboard. Skateboard. That's what you want, girl, skateboard. <laughs> right, now listen, Anna, Ken, Maggie, here's hoping you're going to end up the best of friends at the end of the show with thousands of pounds to share. Right, I'm going to tell you how the game works. Right in front of you is the infamous, much-talked-about golden wall, and it's worth £20,000. It's divided into ten columns, worth £2,000 each. You will each step forward to face ten questions, one per column. You get a question right, that column is safely protected like this. See, that's the colour we want. Beautiful. You get that money, it stays in the game. But should you get a question wrong... Decimate. Decimate. That column is wiped out and that cash is lost for good. So the idea of the game is to protect as much money as you can because once all three of you have played, that is going to be what is at stake in the end game. Anna, Ken, Maggie, we just need to choose who's going to play round one. Now, to help you decide, I'm going to reveal some keywords that are going to appear in the first round of ten questions. And your keywords are... Anniversary, safety matches, marsupial, little women, John Harrison, pizza, Princess Diana, rubber dub dub, T-Rex, Ricky Gervais. Who's going to play first? Any ideas, guys? I'll go first, shall I? Yeah. OK. Great. Oh, right. Ken! <laughs> <laughs> ha, you're going to be first to take yeah. on the Golden Wall. But yeah. before you do, Anna and Maggie have 20 seconds to give you as many facts about those keywords as they can. 20 seconds. Your time starts now. Who wrote Little Women? Louisa May Alcott. Louisa May okay. Alcott, yeah. yeah. Um, Joe, Marnie, Amy and Beth were the four <gasps> sisters. That's right. Okay. Um, Rubber dub dub. What's up? Rubber dub dub. <laughs> Uh, three ducks in a tub. Oh, Rubber dub dub men that top. Who do you think? Butcher the baker, the candlestick maker. Okay, yeah. And then Marcy there's Pilsen T Rex, Mark Bowen, yep, maybe. Or yeah. Ort Tirana, sorry, yeah, Rex. We don't yeah. know. Marcy right, time's up. <laughs> <laughs> Was that useful at all, Ken? Very. Okay, we're going to find out <laughs> as I ask you to step forward and face the golden wall. <laughs> Ken, if there's an answer you're not sure about. You can pass back the question to your teammates. Okay. And if they think you've given a wrong answer, they can buzz in to overrule you and change your answer. Right. All right, pal? But as a team, you only have five overalls and five passbacks between all three of you over the whole show. So, guys, you need to use them wisely, all right? Okay, of course. Good luck. Let's play. Here comes your first question, Ken. Question number one. The soap opera EastEnders hey! celebrated which anniversary in 2015? Was it the 25th, the 30th, or the 50th? And of course, Ken, you're a big EastEnders fan, aren't you? I am, definitely. Yes, yes, I've uh, watched it for m many, many years. And um, the answer is. I'm going to go for 25th. OK, this is right. We're going to light up column number one. If it's wrong, I'm going to ask you to leave the building. <laughs> Column number one. Decimate. Ten! Oh, no. Right, 
very disappointed in you, Biggest Ken. standards I thought it was. <laughs> no. The answer we were looking for is... 30th yeah. anniversary, the live episode. Yeah. OK, we've lost column number one. We're now playing for £18,000. You have five passbacks and five overalls still in the game. Question number two, Ken. Safety matches. Use which of these chemicals to create combustion? Is it zinc, magnesium or phosphorus? Pretty sure it's phosphorus. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you're pretty sure it's the 25th anniversary. <laughs> so what would you like to do? I'm going to go with phosphorus. If this is right, we're going to light up a column. We need to do that in early in the game. Let's light up column number two. Phosphorus! Yes! We're up and running. That's it. OK, here we go. Play for £18,000. Column number three is worth £2,000. Here it comes. Which of these animals native to Australia is not a marsupial? Is it a wombat, koala or a dingo? I know this one. This is Dingo. Dingo's a, a dog. So yeah. it's Dingo. OK. We're going to lock in Dingo to light up column number three. Well done! <laughs> Question number four for another £2,000. In Louisa May Olcott's novel Little Women, which character is the eldest of the March sisters? Is it Meg, Beth, or Joe? This is definitely going to be a pass back. Yeah? Yep. I'm going to pass back first the five pass backs. They're relying on you now, Anna. OK. Um, the answer's Meg. You sure? Yeah. Happy with the answer, Ken? Definitely. We think Meg is the eldest of the March sisters. Let's get three in a row. Meg! There! Yes! yes. yes. Apart from column number one with a slight hiccup on the EastEnders one, which I'm not going to let you forget about, Ken. <laughs> We're doing great. Question number five. Let's get to the halfway mark. John Harrison is famous for inventing which device that was vital to naval navigation in the 18th century? Was it chronometer, quadrant or compass? I'm going to have to do a pass back on that. I don't know. We're going for another pass back. We're hoping a primary teacher might be able to help us out here, Maggie. We're using another pass back. We're not really sure. We're between quadrant yeah. and compass, aren't we? I mean, it's a guess, isn't it? It is a so guess. Yeah. Just between us, it's just a guess. So we just compass. Compass, yeah. Compass. Okay, we're locking in compass. We've used the pass back. Is compass the right answer? Decimate. Oh, guys, we've lost column number five. The answer we were looking for was chronometer. Oh, right. So we're on the second half of the wall. It's still looking good, though. Still looking good, and we're now playing for sixteen thousand pounds. Okay? okay, you have three passbacks and still got five overalls. Here comes question number six. According to Italian folklore, the margarita pizza is named after which of these? Is it a drink, a queen, or an island? Oh, um, this is a guess. I'm going to go for a queen. Yeah. Yeah. Going for a total guess. Margarita oh. is also a drink, though, isn't it, as well? Mm. Let's go with a drink. Oh, we're changing it, then. Yep, you want to say a drink. queen, we're going for a drink. drink. A drink, yeah. OK, let's lock yep. in. Drink. Oh, there's an overall from Anna. Anna thinks differently. What are you thinking, my love? It's a queen. I'm pretty sure it's a queen. You think it's a queen? Based yeah. on what? A TV documentary in Italy, some cookery show. OK. Ken said a drink. You've been overruled by your team. They think it's a queen. If this is right, we're going to light up column number six. Were they right to overrule? Yes, they were! <laughs> Queen Margarita. <laughs> right, so we've let out column number six. We're up and running again, Ken. Three passbacks and four overalls in the game. Question number seven, Ken. Here it is. Protect. £16,000 on the wall. Who was one of the designers of Princess Diana's wedding dress? Was it David Emmanuel? John Galliano or Alexander McQueen? I'm pretty sure I know this one. Uh, David Emmanuel. Yeah? You yeah. think it's David Emmanuel? Yeah, definitely. Let's lock in David Emmanuel. If this is right, we're lighting up column number seven. David Emmanuel! Is that answer right? Yes! yes! Now, we're only three columns away now. 
So we're round two. Let's get this. Question number eight. In the nursery rhyme, rub-a-dub-dub, which of these tradesmen is not one of the three men in the tub? Is it baker, butcher or barber? Bacon butcher sounds like the flow in the song, in the, in the nursery rhyme. Um, barber doesn't feel like it sits there, actually. So I'm going to go with barber. OK, we're going for barber. Not one of the three men in the tub. Column number eight. There is no barber in the tub. <laughs> and there was the butcher, the baker and the... Candlestick, candlestick maker. maker. Of course, right, right we've lit up yeah. column number eight. Penultimate question, Ken. Yep. To protect another £2,000, which of these T-Rex songs was not a UK number one single in the 1970s? Was it Get It On, Metal Guru, or I Love To Boogie? Now, are you familiar with T-Rex? I recognise Get It On. Um, the other two, I, I, I don't know. This is when I really feel my age. Do <laughs> you think someone else might know? You've got three yeah, passbacks and four I'll pass overalls. I'll pass it back. You want to pass it back? Yeah. OK, we're going to use up another pass back. Maggie. Yes? Come on, you must remember T-Rex, my I'm love. I'm thinking of the songs in my head. Actually, sure. I Love To Boogie was in Billy Elliot, which is set in the 80s, isn't it? So if that song featured in the film, it probably wasn't a 70s hit. Okay. Well, that would make sense, especially if that was why you were leaning towards. Well, that's right, so we'll go yeah. I Love To Boogie. OK, we're going to lock in I Love To Boogie. We've oh. used another pass back. If this is right, we're going to light up column number nine and keep £16,000 in play. I love to boogie, column number nine. Yes! Hey, well done! <laughs> so, your last and final question, Ken. Come on, let's go out on a biggie. Yeah. We've only lost two columns. Let's lose no more. Last and final question. You only have two pass backs and four overalls. Question number ten. British comedian Ricky Gervais plays the character Dr McPhee in which of these series of films is it? The Mummy, Night at the Museum, or National Treasure? Yeah, he's with ben, ben Stiller, I think it was, so that's Night, Night at the Museum. What should we do? Definitely lock it in. We're going to lock in yep. Night at the Museum. Yep. Is that answer right? Well played! Get in there, Ken. Good stuff, mate. Go join your team. Good stuff. <laughs> so... £16,000 still in the game. We're going to take that and spread it evenly across 10 new columns and it's going to look beautiful like this. £16,000 on the wall right there. Each column is now worth £1,600. The decision we've got to make now is who's going to play next. Is it going to be Anna or Maggie? Before you decide, here are those crucial keywords to help you. They are Golden Fleece. Treasury, Beverages, Dr. O, Russian Mountain, Banana Man, Wagner, Parrot, Elements, Drew Struzan. I've never heard of some of these. This I'm more of a bash, but it's, it's not brilliant for me either, just so long as you know that. Yeah, no, <laughs> and we've know, always got pass backs and overrules. Oh, that's right. And it comes yeah. up, so. You've been nominated to play, is that right, Max? Yeah, I'm okay. not really too sure, but I've got quite to give it a go. Oh, well, listen, before you step up, it's down to Anna and Ken. To give you as much information about those okay. key words, OK? You've got 20 seconds. Don't let her down. Time starts now. Cool. OK. Golden Fleece, it was like a biblical... Oh, no. Like Jason and Abby. Jason, 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 Jason and Abby. Banana Man. Banana it's Man. Cartoon, wasn't it? Banana it's a cartoon, wasn't it? a cartoon, that's yeah. right. Ragnar, Ragnar was, was an X Factor, Factor contestant. Yeah. And also was a musician. Um, Beverages Harris. could be anything. Elements. Drew Stewart, no idea. Russian, Russian Mountain. Russian any Russian Mountains? Is there any Russian Mountains? No. I don't, sorry. No. Beverages. And your time is up. So, Maggie. Will you please step forward and face the golden wall? <laughs> right, Maggie, here's where we're at, OK? 16,000 on the wall. Right. Each column is worth £1,600. You have two passbacks and four overalls. You ready for your first question? Yes. <laughs> yes, here it comes. Question number one. Which of these mythological heroes went on a quest to find the golden fleece? Was it Bellerophon, Jason, or Odysseus? I think it was Jason, cos when I was doing the 20 seconds thing, it really came into my head, Jason. Not Donovan, but, you know, the, the god. Yeah. Although he's quite a god as well. Do you think? Oh, yeah! So, we think it's Jason. Jason went on a quest to find the Golden Fleece. If this is right, we're going to light up column number one. Jason! 
Yes! <laughs> well it. done. Good start to the game. Ken, that's how you start the game, OK? All right. Well done. Well done. OK. <laughs> Question number two. Still playing for £16,000 on that wall. Here it comes. In the UK Parliament, the position of the First Lord of the Treasury is usually held by whom? Is it Chancellor of the Exchequer, Prime Minister or Leader of the House of Lords? I quite like politics, but I'm thinking First Lord of the Treasury could be Chancellor because he deals with the money. And then as Prime Minister, I don't think he'd be that. Leader of the House of Lords? No, because it's in Parliament. That's what I'm getting confused about. You're asking the wrong person here, love. Well, I'll go for Chancellor Exchequer and they can overrule me if they want. OK. Right. We're going to lock in Chancellor of the Exchequer. There's no overrule. Oh. <laughs> either, they've got, either they've got confidence in your answer or they don't know. <laughs> I personally think it's the latter. Chancellor of the Exchequer, is that the right answer? Decimus. Ah! No, it's not. <laughs> it's gone. The answer <laughs> we were looking for was... The Prime Minister. Oh, what's him? I didn't think that. Well, we have lost column number two. We're now playing for £14,400. You've got two passbacks, four overalls still in play. Question number three. Which of these South American beverages is tea-like and brewed from a shrub related to holly? Is it yerba mate, pisco or suca de acai? I've heard of yerba, but... Um... Josie says American berries and tea light. Like, I think I'll try yerba matey. OK. Anybody feel free to overrule? Right. <laughs> We're going to lock in yerba matey. If this is the right answer. We're going to light up column number three. No one's overruling. We want this to be right. Column number three. It's the yeah! right answer. Well done for overruling. <laughs> Good stuff, Maggie. I don't think they knew anyway. <laughs> OK. Question number four for another £1,600. What was the title of E.L. Dr. O's first published novel? Was it Ragtime, Welcome to Hard Times, or The Book of Daniel? Never heard of E.L. Dr. O. I really don't know. I'm going to guess The Book of Daniel. The Book of Daniel. Is that the title of E.L. Dr. O's first published novel for column number four? Decimus. Ah! No, we've lost another column. The answer we were looking for was... Welcome to Hard Times. Uh, never heard of them at all. Right, we've lost column number four. The wall is now worth £12,800. Two passbacks, four overalls. But don't be disheartened, there's still a lot of money, all right, guys? Right. You all right, Maggie? Yeah. Let's get to the halfway mark. Let's light this one up golden. Question number five. Which Russian mountain range forms a border between Europe and Asia? Is it the Ural Mountains, the Atlas Mountains, or the Caucasus Mountains? The Ural Mountains. Are you guessing? No, I kind of think that's where they are, around where Russia way. Around Russia way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rubbish at geography, so <sighs> that's a hint to the people behind. But I mean, I think it's the Ural Mountains. OK, we're going to lock in Ural Mountains. If this is right, we're going to light up column number five. There's no overall from your teammates. They're staring blankly at the back of your head right now, Maggie. <laughs> Let's light up column number five Ural Mountains. Right, yeah. come on, we're back on track. Let's not form a pattern here now, OK? <laughs> Question number six. What is the name of the schoolboy who is Banana Man's alter ego? Right, is it Eric Wimp, Eric Cartman or Eric Feeble? You know this, Maggie, don't you? Yes, Eric Cartman. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to lock in Eric Cartman. Oh, we've got an overall. Oh, you were hovering there, Anna. Ken? What do you think? Cartman might be South Park. What do you reckon? Oh, what was it like? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen, seen it. I haven't seen it either. But Cartman was, was definitely South Park. Yeah. Would be guess. I don't know. Oh, you've done an overall now, and yeah. you've kind of tripped yourself up. What are you thinking, guys? Um, I'm thinking Cartman sounds like a guy from South Park, <laughs> and Maggie was, was very confident with Cartman as well. So, do we want to keep it as Cartman, or did you want to change the answer? Yes, let's keep it as Cartman. We're keeping Eric Cartman. Was he the alter ego schoolboy of Banana Man to light up column number six? Decimus. No! I think it was Feeble. Oh, you think that now, didn't you? 
think we had a little bit of confusion there. The answer we were looking for was, in fact, Eric Wynn. <laughs> well, I would have guessed Yeah, it. Eric Cartman was a character from South Park. Yeah. And Eric Feeble was from the cartoon Stressed Eric. Oh, really? Right, question number seven. We're now playing for £11,200. Let's bring that into round three if we can. Two pass backs, three overalls left in the game. Here comes question number seven. Which cycle of four Wagner operas take around 15 hours to perform? Is it Der Ring des Nibelung, Parsifal or Tristan und Isolde? No idea of pass back. Oh, you've not even thought about that, haven't you? No idea. Pass back. We're passing back to Anna and Ken. What are you like on your Wagner operas, guys? Shockingly bad. I, it's going to be a pure guess for yeah. me, anyway. Yeah. Four I'm... operas take around 15 hours. It's a guess in the What sounds like a cycle of four? Imagine sitting 15 Another. hours through an mm -hmm. opera. Oh, I know. You must be mad. Well, guess Der Ring des Nibelungen. Der Ring des Nibelung. If this is right, you deserve a big hug. <laughs> Column number seven. Is that the right answer? Yes, it oh, is! Well yes! Well done, guys. Well right. done. Now, let's not decimate column number eight, OK? This is still worth £1,600. You have one pass back and three overalls, bearing in mind Anna's got to come out and play next, OK? Mm -hmm. Here comes question number eight. What is the name of the flightless nocturnal parrot that is native to New Zealand, is it? The secretary bird, the hooded grebe, or the kakapo? The secretary bird. Yeah? I think so. OK, let's lock it in to light up column number eight. £1,600. <laughs> is that the right answer? Decimate. No, oh, no. Are you doing this on purpose? You're just like a colourful wall up there. Is that what it is? <laughs> right, unfortunately, we've lost column number right. eight. Yeah. The wall is now worth £9,600. The right answer was, in fact, the Kakapo. Penultimate question. Question number nine. We only have one pass back and three overalls. Question number nine. Here it is. Which of these elements is not a liquid at room temperature? Is it? Bromine, thallium, or mercury? Any good at chemistry, Maggie? No. OK. Um, bromine, thallium, mercury. I'll go mercury, but I hope to be over rogues. I'm not sure. OK, we're going to lock in the answer mercury. If this is right, we're going to light up column number nine. And by the pan of the wall, this should be right. To protect 9,600 pounds. Mercury, column number nine. Decimate. No! We've decimated column number nine. We've lost it. The answer we were looking for was... Thallium. Thallium. The right. Idea. The wall is now worth £8,000. You have one pass back, three overalls. Your last and final question. Question number ten. Let's get this one right. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Drew Struzan is best known for his work in which type of media? Is it film posters, TV commercials or radio jingles? Do you know this name, Maggie? Never heard of it. No. no? And I don't want to use a pass back, because that wouldn't be fair. She should get at least one pass back, so I'll, I'll, sing, I'll guess and hope if somebody knows they can overrule me. OK. So I'll go for TV commercials. OK, we're going for TV commercials. We're locking it in. There's no overall from your teammates. Let's finish <laughs> on a golden column. Column number 10. Is that the right answer? Decimate. No! Oh, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Oh, I tried my No, best. I'm so sorry, my darling. The answer we were looking for was, in fact, film posters. Right. And he did the posters for Back to the Future and Blade oh, Runner. Right. Oh, Maggie, please go back and join your team, mate. Okay. Just give a big round of applause. Well done, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, £6,400 is now at stake. As before, we're going to take that and divvy it up into ten new columns. And it's now going to look like this. 
There you go. There it is. Each column is now worth £640. Anna, you're up last. The more columns you can keep in play, the more cash you'll be taken through to the end game. Yeah. So, let's reveal your key words. They are Dr Evil, Mass Weddings, Eureka, Lonely as a Cloud, 1st of August, Online Companies, Black Cats, Ai Weiwei, Kate Bush, Private Eye. So, Ken, Maggie, help Anna here. We've got a briefing. 20 yeah. seconds starts now. Do you, anyway, Ai Weiwei, do you know what that is? No, I don't know yeah. that one. Um, is there anything else you First know. of August, anything significant that you that's can it, think of? Nice there? ghost of the other that, isn't it? Um, Doctor, Doctor Evil, Evil what James Austin, 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 Austin Powers, Powers. yeah. yeah. Um, Prime Eyes ma magazine with mass magazine. Magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Visit the moon people went to the Reverend Moon, had the mass weddings. Mass weddings, was it? Black cats. Right, so time's up. Uh, time's up, guys. Anna, did any of that help? Hopefully, yeah. Okay, I think gonna... it probably did. Well, fingers crossed, we're going to find out as I ask you to step forward and face the golden wall. Okay. Now, we're playing for 6,400. Okay, you have one pass back and three overalls in the game. Yeah. You can do this, all right, my love? We want yeah. to take this money into the end game. Definitely. Ready for question one? Mm hmm. Here it is. Which actor played the character of Dr. Evil in the Austin Powers films? <laughs> Was it Will Ferrell, Steve Carell, or Mike Myers? I'm going to go for Mike Myers. That's the correct answer. Great way to start the game. Mike Myers, £640. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is. Well done, my love. OK, question number two. To protect another £640. Which religious movement, known for mass weddings, was founded by the Reverend Sun Myung Moon in South Korea in 1954? Was it Scientology, the Unification Church, or Heaven's Gate? It's a tough one, isn't it? It's a tough one. The fact that it was founded in South Korea is definitely throwing me. I'm going to guess Scientology. Yeah? Ooh, maybe I'm not. Maybe Heaven's Gate. I'll go for Heaven's Gate because I know some celebrities are Scientologists and I haven't heard anything about them having mass weddings. But please do overrule me, guys. Um, we've got three to use and I'm not sure if you know the answer. OK, we're locking in Heaven's Gate. So light up column number two with Heaven's Gate. £640. Decimus. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's OK. I'm just now thinking it's at the Unification Church. Well, yeah, Unity, well... mass weddings. Yes, it was. I'm so sorry. We've lost oh. column number two. We're now playing okay. for £5,760. OK. Right, question number three. You have one pass back and three overalls. Here it is. Which scientist apparently exclaimed Eureka after he solved a problem while sitting in the bath? Was it Galileo, Archimedes or Aristotle? I think it's Galileo, but I'm not 100% confident. I'm hoping maybe um, Maggie or Ken will overrule me if they know otherwise, okay. but I'm going to guess Galileo. OK, we're going to guess Galileo and lock it in. And there's an overall there from Maggie. Maggie thinks different. What do you think, my love? I think it's Archimedes. Yeah? Uh-huh. She sounds fairly confident. That's what you were hoping for, wasn't it, Anna? Yeah. An overall. That's what they're there for. We're going to change Galileo to Archimedes. If this is right, we're going to light up column number three. We need this one for £640. Archimedes, is that the correct answer? Good use to the overall. Well done as a team. Well done, guys. Question number four. We have two overalls, one pass back. Here it is. Who wrote the poem that begins, I wandered lonely as a cloud? Was it William Butler Yeats, William Blake, or William Wordsworth? I wandered lonely as a cloud. It's daffodils, isn't it? Do you know this poem? Yeah, and I've just got thrown as to whether it's Blake or Wordsworth, but I'm going to go Wordsworth, because that was my gut. That yeah. was what I thought before the answers came up. OK. But now I'm wondering, ooh, oh, no. What do you want to do? Wordsworth. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to lock in William Wordsworth. Yeah. Did he write the poem that begins, I wandered lonely as a cloud? We want to light up column number four and protect another £640. So embarrassing if this is wrong. William Wordsworth, did he wander lonely as a cloud? Yes, he did! Good stuff, Anna. Right, we're on a roll now. It's the halfway mark. Question number five. To protect another £640, to keep 5760 in the game. 
Question five. Since 1975, which English county has celebrated its identity annually on the 1st of August? Is it Lincolnshire, Yorkshire or Lancashire? Useless at this kind of thing. I don't think it's Yorkshire. I went to uni there for three years. I don't remember any. I knew I wouldn't have been there in August. Um, I'm going to guess Lincolnshire. Was this the county that celebrated its identity annually on the 1st of August? This is right. I'm going to light up column number five and protect another £640. Column number five. Decimus. Oh, it's the wrong answer. The answer we were looking for was Yorkshire. Yorkshire, wow. Right. <laughs> we are now playing for £5,120. We need to start keeping the money now, Anna, to bring this into our end game, yeah. right, my love? Got one pass back, two overalls. Come on, team. Question number six. Which of these online companies was founded first? Was it Amazon, Google or YouTube? Um, Amazon. I think they were selling books in the 90s, so... Should we lock in Amazon? Lock it in, but please overrule if you know different. We're locking in Amazon. Oh, and there's an overall from your team friends. Yeah, good. <laughs> Someone else. Uh, Ken, what do you think, buddy? Um, we'll be talking about this and thinking this possibly maybe Google, um, because you need a search engine for an online, online company to be viable for. So, we want to go with Google. OK. But Amazon is a good shout. <laughs> Amazon's a good shout, but maybe it's not the right one, because you've changed your answer from Amazon to Google. Mm -hmm. Happy with the change, Anna? Yeah, definitely. OK. Um, We're now locking in Google. You've changed Anna's answer from Amazon to Google. Are your teammates correct to overrule you, Anna? I hope so. We all hope so. Is Google the correct answer? Decimates. No, it's not. Oh. Sorry, Anna. Was it Amazon? The answer we were looking for was... You were right. Yeah. Oh, team. Sometimes you might have a little bit of faith. In Anna. But come on, don't be down. We're now playing for £4,480. One pass back, one overall. Question number seven. Let's not get three decimates on the trot here. Mm -hmm. Here's question seven. Which football team has the nickname the Black Cats? Ah. Ah, is it? Newcastle United, Sunderland or Middlesbrough? My dad's a Sunderland supporter, so it's uh, Sunderland. We've got this in the bag. We're going to lock in Sunderland. They're nodding behind you. Let's hope you're right. Sunderland to protect. Column number seven. Yes! Good one, Anna. We're back on track now. Three columns left. Let's keep £4,480. Question number eight. One pass back, one overall. Here it comes. In 2010, the artist Ai Weiwei filled the Tate Modern's Turbine Hall with what? Was it porcelain sunflower seeds, metal bicycle frames, or wooden crab shells. What are I'm you gonna, thinking, Anna? I'm thinking I'm going to pass back. Yeah? Taking the pressure yeah. off yourself, are you, my love? Yeah. We're passing back <laughs> to your team friends. So Ken, gonna... Maggie. It's, it's a total guess, but I think porcelain and sunflower seeds. Okay, I'll go for yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, we've used the last of the passbacks to your teammates. They seem to think, and it's a guess. There might be the porcelain sunflower seed, so we're going to lock in that answer. If that's right, we're going to light up column number eight and keep £640. If it's wrong, we take another drop. Porcelain sunflower seeds? Is that answer right? Yes! Good pass back. Well done, team. Right, we have one overall left. No more pass backs. Your penultimate question to keep £640 in column number nine. Here comes question number nine. What was the name of the series of concerts performed by Kate Bush at the Hammersmith Apollo in 2014? Was it Moments of Pleasure, Before the Dawn or The Tour of Life? I'm going to guess Before the Dawn because it sounds like something that would fit in with her song lyrics. Should we lock it in? Yeah. We're going to lock in Before the Dawn. Column number nine, Before the Dawn. Yes! <laughs> Here comes your last and final question. We get this one right, we're going to take £4,480 into the end game. Only if we can get this next one right. You only have one overall. 
Okay, if we're going to use it, now's the time to use it, guys. Question number 10. Who did Ian Hislop succeed as editor of Private Eye magazine? Was it Willie Rushton, Richard Ingrams, or Peter Cook? I'm going to guess Peter Cook, because that sounds familiar. We're going for Peter Cook. This is right. £4,480 to take through to our final. It's a good amount of money to play for in the end game there, guys. Or we're going to lose 640 of it. <laughs> is Peter Cook the right answer? Decimate. No! The answer we were looking for is... Oh, Richard Ingram's... Yeah, it's just one of those I didn't know. Oh, I know. So. We'll give a big round of applause and you go back to your team. Well done, my love. <laughs> now, here's the big moment. The chance to win £3,840. Here's how it works. We divide the cash once more into ten equal columns. And it's going to look like this. There it is. £3,840 on the wall. Now, to leave with that cash, you must work your way across the wall one last time, lighting up all ten columns. But now, you'll only have two minutes to do it. You'll get three chances to light each column. Should you get all three questions wrong, and that column and its cash will be lost. We will rebuild the wall, and a teammate will take over from where you left off. Now, if as a team you fail to light up all ten columns, you're going to leave with nothing. Here are your ten key words. They are Eiffel, Mary, South Africa, Pink, The Sun, Scout, War, Philip, Vegas and Santiago. Now, we have a big decision to make. Today you met strangers, but you've worked wonderfully as a team. But now we have to take that chance to share that cash prize of £3,840. We need to find out who's going to face the wall first. Who do you think it's going to be? I think I could have a stab at the first mm. couple. Oh, well, OK, then. Mm. No, 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 no. I guess it'll be fair since you're there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. OK, I'm going to go first. Yeah. Anna, please join me and face the final golden wall. <laughs> Here we go. I know everyone in the studio's rooting for you. Light up all ten columns within the time, and you and your teammates will be leaving with £3,840. Be nice. It would be lovely, wouldn't it? Mm. Let's put two minutes on the clock. That time will start when I finish reading the first question. Okay. Anna, good luck. Thank you. Eiffel. What colour was the title of Eiffel 65's 1999 UK number one single? Blue. Correct. Mary, which month of the year do Catholics dedicate to the seven sorrows of the Virgin Mary? April. September. A Bloody Mary is a popular cocktail containing vodka and which other main ingredient? Tomato juice. Correct. South Africa. The three capital cities of South Africa are Cape Town, Pretoria and where? Pass. Bloemfontein. What is South Africa's main unit of currency? Pass. Rand. The name of which city in South Africa is often shortened to Joburg? Johannesburg. Correct. Pink. Who starred as Kato in the 1975 film Return of the Pink Panther? Pass. Burt Kwok. Which UK national daily newspaper is printed on pink paper? Financial Times. Correct. The Sun. Who was the editor of the Sun newspaper from 1981 to 1994? Ruth Murdoch. Kelvin McKenzie. Which planet orbits closest to the Sun? Um, pass. Mercury. The Sun is located in which galaxy? Um, the solar system. Stop the clock! Decimate. <laughs> the answer we were looking for was Milky Way. Milky Way, yeah. I'm afraid that's the third wrong answer. The clock has been stopped, the money has been decimated, and Anna. I'm afraid you must please step down. We now have to rebuild the wall. We are now down to £3,456. And the question is, can one of your teammates take that home by protecting the remaining columns? We now need a new keyword to replace the sun and that keyword is bread. Okay, Ken and Maggie, between you two. Yeah. Which one is going to step up and try and complete the journey across the wall? Who's it going to be? I'm going to go up. Okay, yeah. you go up and you go. Yeah. It's 
Ken, will you please step forward and face the golden wall? Right, Ken, we're now playing for £3,456. You have one minute and seven seconds left. The clock will restart when I finish asking this question. Good luck. Bread. Which film director shot the iconic 1973 Hovis Bread TV advert featuring a boy and his bike? Pass. Ridley Scott. According to Luke's Gospel, how many loaves of bread did Jesus have to feed the 5,000? 40,000. Five. The sitcom Bread was set in which UK city? Liverpool. Correct. Scout. In 2009, which celebrity was made the UK's chief scout? Pass. Bear Grylls. Scout as a character in which 1960 novel by Harper Lee? To Kill a Mockingbird. Correct. War. Who composed the 1978 musical version of the H.D. Wells novel, The War of the Worlds? Jeff... Oh, pass. The answer was Jeff Wayne. The Wars of the Roses were fought between the House of York and which other house? Pass. Lancaster. The author that wrote War and Peace was Leo who? Pass. Stop the clock! Decimate. The answer we were looking for, the author that wrote War and Peace, was Leo Tolstoy. Tolstoy, right. The clock has stopped. Once again, the money has been decimated and you must please step down. <laughs> right, guys. Anna, Ken, Maggie, we now have to rebuild the wall again. <laughs> we're now down to 3,000... 110 pounds. We still need four more correct answers for your team to take home that money. We've got 26 seconds left on the clock to do it. We're going to need a new keyword to replace war, and that keyword is duck. <laughs> Maggie, it's all down to you now, my love. Will you please step forward and face the golden ball? <laughs> going to be leaving with £3,110 or nothing. Come on, do this. OK. The clock will restart when I finish asking this question. Maggie, good luck. Duck, who plays the team coach in the 1992 film The Mighty Ducks? No idea. Emilio Estevez. What is the name of Donald Duck's rich uncle? Don't know. Scrooge McDuck. Which celebrity chef's restaurant is called The Fat Duck? Stop the clock! Decimate. I'm so sorry. The answer we were looking for was Heston Blumenthal. Oh, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Which means the wall has been decimated. You've not made it across there. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm afraid you're going to be leaving with nothing, but give them a big round oh, of applause. Please. Come here, guys. Come on. Get in here like that. Come sorry, here. Where are we all going here? Let me get in here like that. Where are you all going? All right. Have you had fun today? Yeah. yeah. You, got, you met strangers, but you got to know each other? That's yeah. right. We're all coming up to Scotland to have a cup of tea with you. Is that all right? That's right. Definitely. Lovely. Well, join me next time to see if three more people can work together and take home a huge cash prize. Or whether, like the team here, they'll be decimated. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.